Hello, beautiful Libra friends. Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. That is me. I am so happy to have all my Libra friends here uh, on YouTube with me. Uh, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, however you resonate with that sign, we are going to do a tarot love reading for you. This is going to be roughly um, mid-February into mid-March. As always, these are um, general messages on YouTube, a public platform. That means not everything I say will resonate with all of the Libras out there. That is just simply how these work. Pieces and parts of this reading very likely will. I hope lots and lots of it does. If that's the case, fantastic. Take it and run with it. Never force anything to fit your circumstance or scenario. If the messages I am delivering feel strange or foreign, don't resonate, then don't take on that energy. It means it's probably a message for someone else, in which case you can release it and go about your merry way. Um, as always, um, again, come into this with an open heart and an open mind. It is up to you to discern the messages that are meant for you, but also give them time to resonate. Not everything is going to click for you instantaneously. Lots of it will, right, if it's your message, but in a few hours, days, even weeks, something may click for you and, yeah, it, it enlighten you in some capacity or make you think back to this vi uh, video or message, then that means it was yours. All right, those are my general messages, guys. Um, we are going to hop in momentarily, a few more shuffles. If you don't currently have a person, this could represent someone coming into you. It could also represent someone um, from your past that's showing up back in your reading. I try to read for romantic love because that's generally what people are looking for. Sometimes, though, this will end up being like a parent-child relationship. Anybody in your life that you love, in some capacity, you can probably apply these messages to. All right, let's hop in for my beautiful Libras. Libra, Libra. Your energy, pa okay, well, there we go. Past life relationship. So you're thinking of someone from your past. It could absolutely be in, in the 3D in the world right now, someone you've dated recently or in the last several years. Could also be in another lifetime, right? A soulmate that keeps coming back. Um, it says you have known each other before. Uh, and then we have the hanged man. So some of you are absolutely thinking about a Pisces. <laughs> Or, or also a delay in whether or not you want to communicate with them. The idea of dreaming about it, thinking about it, thinking about that reconciliation, inviting them out for drinks or dinner, or, or even potentially in a social circle where it's not just the two of you, especially if you're trying to sort of um, kind of break into it very gently and not necessarily indicate that you're looking for partnership again with them. Yeah, it might be like, oh, come out like with my friends. No big deal. We're going to go here. You should come. But in reality, it does feel like you, you are trying to make it a, like an exclusive thing. Um, and yeah, exactly. And then you have two of cups. So that's what I mean. It's like it starts in a situation where it's, it's multiple people, it's multiple cups, it's multiple bodies, multiple hearts. But it, it's because you're trying to like declutter or weed through the rest to, to get it to be just the two of you looking at each other, wanting to exchange cups. It's really beautiful energy. Um, yeah, particularly Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Pisces is coming across very strong here. You may also uh, understand or know or believe that this person may actually already be involved with another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. In which case, it's the same thing. I don't think you're rushing in aggressively or trying to like F up any marriages or anything like that. But you do have the hopes, again, the, the almost like a hopeless romantic dream of you know, they have a lot of people in their life, but maybe one day it'll be me. It's very cute. It's very good energy. It's very, like, peaceful and chill. I like it. All right. So, your person. Let's see what's up with them. Well, guys, this looks real hopeful. Coming up in their spread is reconciliation. And then you have past, past person. So, so they have eight of swords. So, they, you're right. They do have a bit going on. Something about they've closed themselves off mentally to the idea of potentially reconciling with you but it's not because they don't want to it might be because it's it's simply not an option for them if they are with somebody else right now or if it's not another person they're with it could just be there's a lot going on in their energy in their world in their life maybe they're you know married to their job so to say something like that yeah but they think about communicating with you as well page of cups and because it's being presented as a page it's not someone brand new there's room to grow on this the aces are brand new the page again like we're familiar with it but it, it's still early on in the game could also be offering an apology it's a a need to be very vulnerable we see that little fish coming out of the cup very frequently an indicator of pisces uh, again scorpio or cancer though absolutely but some they're holding themselves back mentally they feel like it's not time to move forward though even though in their heart they, they believe that there is some sort of connection here, you could absolutely be dealing with an Aries right in their spread. And that is your divine counterpart, Libra. Right in their spread, they have the Emperor coming up. That is the Aries card. Um, someone who's very headstrong, someone who's very confident, but also someone who's very rigid and traditional in their means of doing things. 
Uh, they can be stubborn, some, sometimes egotistical, but in a higher vibration, they know how to do things the correct way, and so they will not waver. It's like if they're going to come in and make an offer, it's going to pack a lot of bang and gusto. It's not going to be this half-hearted, hey, like, what are you doing? I don't know if I can do this, but I'm interested. Like, it's not that. It would be very... Um, very, it very like, again, packs a lot of gusto, packs a lot of punch. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Uh, it is Aries. Could also be Leo or Sagittarius, though. All right. So, I mean, already this feels hopeful. I, I under, I, it doesn't feel like you guys are together, but you're both thinking about each other. And who did I say that to? Actually, I may have said it to Aries. If you are dealing with an Aries, I, yeah. Okay, if you are dealing with an Aries, I would go back and watch that video. And flat out, I, there was some involvement with a Libra, but it wasn't a high-vibing Libra. That might not be you. That might be someone else. They had a lot of Cancer and Capricorn going on in their spreads, so maybe that does speak about, you know, people with being, being with other partners at the moment now. But you both are thinking about each other undeniably. Um... Oh boy. Okay, so then this is the High Priestess. So a card of Cancer, intuitively feeling each other's energy. Uh, you might be dealing with a Cancer as well. It you something about work. Oh, and you do have cards of mother and father coming through. Bear with me here, right? Those looking to reconcile. If you are like an estranged child, if you're not with your parents right now. Uh, oh, okay. There's a couple things. Uh, reconciling a troubled or rocky relationship with your parents. Yes, that's coming through for some of you, particularly if you have a, a mother or father who is Cancer or Aries. If it's not that, it's for some of my Libras who who have parents that have passed away that are no longer in their life, this is saying that your parents are looking out for you and they are trying to free you from thoughts of false perception, things that you believe about yourself, eight of swords that are keeping you stuck and in your mental prison. They're trying to show you the way out because they want you to be happy. Some of you are stuck in a marriage that you're tremendously unhappy with or just a situation, whether it's dating or at work, stuck in a situation that you're just not happy with. There's something about your angel guides, your spirit guides, especially your ancestors or your parents if they have passed on. They're trying to, to hand you the key to like unlock that mental prison so that you can so that you can more move forward and go after what it is that is in alignment with your heart space. You definitely have um, Cancer being the mother of the Zodiac, Aries being like the father and then the child. Yeah, something about this may actually have to do with it, again, parent, child. Um, it could be reconciliation or, or just matters of the heart. It's not to say that you guys aren't also interested in a romantic partner from the past because that's very clearly coming through here. Even this, it's like, it's a funny way that it's coming through, but it's like your, your ancestors are toasting you with a glass. They're rooting for you. They're, they're, they're cheering you on from the sidelines because, uh, yes, or it could be your person as well, like um, trying to motivate you to move forward on something that it's really beautiful and wants to come in, but someone is like stuck in an awkward position. And I do want to say it's because they're, they're otherwise committed at the moment. Again, it could be a wife. It could be a. Uh, it could be that they're taking care of their ill parents. It could be that they have a child that they, they is like the center of their world. So yeah, there, there's a reason why you two aren't together, but you're both very much thinking about it. Um, so let's see what's between you. Uh, okay, the Page of Pentacles, beautiful. Again, a page, it's not brand new. It's something you can grow and work off of. Here it's the emotional work that needs to grow and, and, and be discovered. Um, pages are like students, so if we think of this as like the student, but um, like the body of work in which you can grow and develop and learn from, here it's Pentacles. So the physical um, relationship between you, the bodies coming together, um, as well as career, finances, home, job, pentacles, real things you can reach out and touch, the 3D, it's earth energy, seeds, as a metaphor for that. Guys, stop it. What's between you? This is adorable. Calling in your soulmate. Oh, reconciliation, past life relationship, and calling in your soulmate? Libra. All right, so the, okay, wow. Fast forward movement, swift, rapid action. These I frequently see as the um, arrows that Cupid shoots from his bow and arrow. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, as well as the Empress. Okay, so another card of motherhood. This could be someone you want to build a family with, or both of you or one of you may actually already have a child that, from another relationship. That, that could absolutely be the case here. And it's almost like you, Libra, whether you're the mother, or I'm sorry, whether you are male or female, you may, by getting involved with this person, um, 
I don't know how to phrase it. You may uh, incidentally or by default be, be kind of forced into being in a mother type role. And so with that, it might be because you may end up having a, a stepchild, right? If, if this person already has a child or <clears throat> something about needing to be very maternal and, and gentle and caring for this person who is going through a bit of a hard time. This person may suffer from depression or have very severe anxiety. Or again, something about caring for a parent who is sick or ill or just, it doesn't have to be that extreme, but has trouble getting around. This person seems like they may be a caretaker to someone else in their life. And in which case, by inviting them into yours, if, if or when this comes together, you sort of have to be the rock for a bit because they, they do have a lot going on. You seem much more open and free and willing to go pursue this. And it's not that they don't, like very much they are dreaming about you. You were sort of like that, almost like that star in the sky that they dream about, but it doesn't seem like it could ever be a reality to them. They're dreaming about it with cup energy, very much in the heart space. What's between you is practicality, the, um, the pentacles of actually building it, making it work. Um, you guys need to focus on manifestation and, and flat out, like, yes, manifesting and calling in your soulmate, but literally calling them, picking up the phone, shooting a text, writing a letter, whatever you do, because yeah, none of this is like silent communication. It, it's moving forward with calling them in. Uh, wands can be communication. Again, it's swift. It's taking action. It's not just sitting there dreaming about it with pentacles. It's practical. Are we going to move this forward? And for some of you, I do sense that you haven't seen this person in ages. And, and again, for some of you, it, it is your mother um, or it is a maternal figure in your life, your older sister, your grandmother, your even like a best friend who really looked out for you. It's, if that's the case, it's almost like the roles have, have reversed and now you're being asked to come in and be the more um, uh, support system, someone that they, they just kind of can melt into at the end of the day when, when they've kind of had, had a rough day. This is such a beautiful reading. I'm into it. Oh, it feels so good. Tell me more about this. Yeah. The longer you wait and think about this person, the more burdensome it seems. Um, and what you don't realize is you have another person interested in you and it's, yes, this person is, but it's someone else. And, but here's where it gets kind of funny. There's someone else interested in you, but I'm not sure they have the best intentions. It's not that they're trying to ruin your life or anything like that. It, it, it's actually is that they are um, like sexually attracted to you, but it feels kind of hit it and quit it. It feels like they are looking for a quick fix because Let's, let's call this person A, right? The one you're, you're dreaming about, the soulmate past life person. Person B is someone who I don't even think you recognize. I don't even think you acknowledge them when you're in the same room. They have eyes for you, but it's, it's very hit it and quit it. They, they want to maybe sleep with you or make out with you or, or, you know, whatever. Date you. But it's because they are trying to put a Band-Aid over past hurt that they've felt. It might actually be another Libra. They may have just gotten out of a relationship and because their ego is very wounded, their emotional space is very bruised and kind of hurting right now. They're looking to like swoop in and do something with you almost out of the clear blue. But yeah, their intentions are shaky at best. So I would be careful of that, particularly if you're dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio in that capacity. Um, and then on your person's side here, they have the page of wands. So yeah, again, flirtation wanting to move forward and discover new avenues, new options, new adventures in romance and in love. And like, it's, you are what they are wanting to head towards. This is a really great reading. All right, and, and it went so quick, I'm only at 14 minutes, but what else do we need to know? All right, so if this, I'm gonna ask a random question. It's not gonna be for everyone. If this is someone that Libra has already been involved with in the past, dating, slept with, whatever, what is, I guess I, just from my own kind of knowing, like what, what was the downfall? What was the pitfall that kind of drove these people apart? That came out instantly. The high priestess. So this is saying to me, you guys already know the answer to that. And then eight of wands. Okay. So swift, rapid action towards a cancer. Did a cancer come in between you or a Pisces? 
Did someone end up marrying or getting, uh, yeah, actually, that came up twice. Marrying or getting involved with a Cancer or a Pisces, third party sh situation, third party shit. Also travel. This person may have had to travel to go do work, particularly if they are a teacher or a healer or a therapist or a psychologist or someone who works with emotions, um, a doctor. So yeah, someone who was involved with other clients and that work may have taken them like overseas. They may even have been in the service, uh, like the military or something, like a protector. Um, also pregnancy, even if this person wasn't necessarily married, they may have, I say something about the child. They may have had a child with someone and even if they're not still with that um, you know, spouse or partner, there may have been a child that came from the situation. And so that is definitely occupying their time. But yeah, both of you look back and, and wonder and, and think about this connection. What drove you apart, even if it was third party ish, right? It doesn't seem super malicious. It felt like this person had no choice. That's why I mean, there may have been like an accidental pregnancy or something like that, where it was sort of like they were forced to move on in that direction. But I am getting it's not because they necessarily wanted to. And it, it sort of pained them to have to leave you, Libra. I, I hope that lands for someone. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, so again, something about a cancer or a mother. Again, they may have been called away because they had to deal with something that their mother was going through. Or step up and to be a mother to a child. For, for anybody who's seeking female partnership, another female in this equation may have had you know, mother child issues, right? You're, even if this is a dude, he may have mommy issues. There may like something about that is important. And then seven of swords. Yeah. Someone had to leave. They had to flee quite quickly. That's why you have some eight of wands coming up twice. Someone had to leave almost without explanation very quickly, but it, it was while physically they moved on mentally, they didn't mentally, they were extremely indecisive and they didn't know how to fix what they left behind or they didn't know how to return to it and, and re reestablish harmony and balance because I think there were some there were a little there was some wounds, particularly on your part. You may have felt slighted, but again I'm getting this person had to leave because they had to. Yes, yeah, something about wellness or illness, they especially if they're a doctor or something like that, they had to go they had to go take care and heal somebody else. And and again some Something about a child or a baby breastfeeding. I don't. I don't know what that has to do with. Me. Do they deliver babies? Are they that type of doctor? I don't. I don't know. <clears throat> and then let's see the moon. Yeah, not everything has been made clear about the situation. There may be secrets that you still don't totally understand why they left, or or vice versa. This could have been you, Libra. There's still more to be discovered and explored here. But it's almost like you both have to have faith that answers will be revealed in good time. It's not something you can force. With, with Earth Energy, Page of Pentacles, you have to let this uh, relationship develop organically. But yeah, there's, there's absolutely room to heal here. And something about spirit guides or angels or... It actually could have literally been prison, by the way, uh, for, for the one or two of you where that resonates. How I was saying your angels or guardians are trying to pass you the key to unlock this mental prison you've been keeping yourself in false beliefs about yourself, about your future, about not deserving love, about not being good enough. That could also be your person. The idea of passing, passing you the key, the key actually leads to each other's door. It's something about once this person frees themselves from keeping you in like a, a false safety zone, a false, uh, a false headspace of the comfort zone. It's, you know, I'm good here, I'm safe here, but it's because it's all you've ever known. When you take the risk to like unlock that door and, and step outside of the, the thoughts you at once at one time believe to be true, it, it ends up you end up moving towards each other and they are like the missing key. They are like the missing piece or part or puzzle piece in your life. And at minimum, even if this isn't your forever person, you are being called to reconcile with this person to heal some wounds of the past. And re or like hit reset or reestablish balance and harmony. Libra, that sounds delightful, right? Major justice vibes there. Yeah, because something about this person, at one point in time, you both thought each other was, were, you both looked at each other like the jackpot, winning the lottery. There was some, and there may have been uh, something about money involved. You may have had a joint bank account or tried to be business partners or go into some sort of 
endeavor together where you could gain a lot of money, but it's also in metaphor too. And that could also be in the future too. This could be someone that if you're trying to run your own business from home, particularly healing, um, like uh, therapy, counseling, or uh, whatever, it, there's potential for that to grow and develop into like a family business, having a legacy, something you pass down to your children. Yeah, with you, Libra. Interesting. So let's look at your final advice or guidance with this person. So two of swords, yeah. Um, someone who may be um, avoiding coming forward. And again, it's because of that mental prison. They, they need to find the key to unlock themselves that, that leads to you. So in, in a sense, I know this is difficult to hear, there's not all that much you can do other than if you're interested, maybe reach out to them. Don't expect miracles overnight. But it does seem like if you were to send a message, whatever you send out would be received well. I think you would hear back. And it, okay, but it might not be instantly. The, uh, it's something about there's only a certain time and space when this person has time to respond to you because their hands are full. They're very tied up in their marriage, in their child, in caring for their parents, in their job. So even if you send out messages and it, 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 you, you don't hear anything for a day or two, anticipate that. It has nothing to do with them not wanting to reach back out to you. It's, it's like they have to wrap their head around it and send out a communication that packs a lot of gusto. They don't want to half-ass it. If they're going to extend some sort of emotion to you or some sort of emotional message or flirtation, they want it to be the real deal. They don't want to like half-ass it and slap it together and be like, oh, hey, Libra, what's up? You know, hope you're doing well. That's not really where they're at, particularly if you're dealing with an Aries or a Cancer. Your final advice or guidance, flirt. That's not hard for you, Libra, right? You love to flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, that's what this is. That's flirting, sending out cute little messages to them. Uh, okay, so then you have seven of wands, endurance, eight of cups. Uh, yeah, not settling, going after all your wishes and all your dreams. For a lot of you, it does seem like this person. And yeah, I see that if this is a reconciliation, there is a little bit of trouble in the past. It looks like somebody uh, had to fly off. Somebody had to flee this this relationship because, again, some. It, I just keep getting they almost had no choice. You, again, with all these secrets and high priestess, it's nothing terrible, but you're not understanding the whole situation of why this person had to leave. And they kept you waiting a long time. Or, or, and I don't even know if they meant to. You waited for this person a long time. And it felt like for the longest time they never reached out to you or they never tried to make it better or heal the, the, the wounds, the damage that had been done. They're fighting to. They're trying to get there. It's like they're, they're in warrior mode. They're trying to make it up the, the steep hill. But they do have the higher ground, right? They're almost there. Again, some of you are having their hands full. There's six obstacles coming at them. You know, again, lots going on. There's lots on their plate. It's not that they don't want to return your call. It's not that they don't want to reach out. They just have a lot going on in their life. But there is a desire for them to come back in and, and treat you like a princess to, to or prince, whatever to romance you, to, um, yeah, to, to try and appeal to you romantically, sexually, all that good stuff. And then this is saying, I, I think uh, for a lot of you, your person ended up with someone who wasn't the end all be all. By circumstance, they may have married this person because they had a child together. Or again, something is similar to that scenario. They had to be with this person because I don't know, maybe this person had severe mental health issues and they weren't in a place where they could divorce them or leave them behind because, again, they're like a stand-up person. They are a good person, but it does seem like they made a mistake with you and the, the facts of what happened are actually very muddled to you. Keep an open mind if you do want to reconnect with this person because it does seem like once they kind of make it to the top, once they unlock that key and get out of their own mental prison, it feels like they are trying to fight for you. It, it seems like they have the capacity to fight for them, for themselves, for their freedom, and, and most, mostly for their love. These cups represent something that at one point in time were emotionally fulfilling to this person. They aren't anymore, but it has. this person wouldn't be where they are today had they not met these people, experienced this love, gone through these circumstances. These circumstances are crucial in the foundation that got them started and ultimately inspired them to go after even more, to chase their dreams even more. The moon and the sun does talk about the changing up of cycles and there's so much moon energy here. So you may have very strong cancer in your chart, Libra. Either way, it seems like they eventually do have 
the, the epiphany or the realization or the motivation to, to move forward to you, but they're actually not certain, again, how they will be received. They may be fearing the repercussions or the judgment of how you'll respond to them trying to go back and at least seek closure on this. Um, but yeah, there's magic between you. Yeah, uh, Three of Cups again, there's a reconciliation that you both are being guided to. But I will say, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't reach out first. Again, it's not going to happen instantly. They may not re respond to your text or your, your phone call the very next day. But give it some time. Yeah, something about this person is trying to get their their money in order, their inheritance, their uh, legal case. Something is tying them up. But they, in some capacity, they are alone romantically. Even if they are in married at this at this point, it's a loveless marriage, and it does seem like they're trying to make their way out of it. It does seem like they may actually be going through like a divorce or signing divorce papers. And maybe they're waiting for the um, uh, the completion of, of that, uh, you know, whatever, court case, documentation, etc. Once they're in the clear there, then they can focus their attention on you, Libra. Yeah, because you are the star in their sky. But right now, there's a lot. They're a little bit overwhelmed on where they can focus their time, their attention, their heart, right? With cups, their love. As I said, if they're going to come in, especially given the past, they're not going to make a half-ass offer. They want it to be a like undeniable it's like no room for no shades of gray it's very black and white i love you this is what i want there they might not come in until they can do that so let them get their lives together a little bit but feel free to reach out because yeah this person does feel guilt over how they how they handled things in the past um but yeah ace of cups you both are going after your dreams and your wishes and i don't like to be a hype man i'm not trying to send you you know you know, messages that offer you false belief or false promises, but all your cards here are so beautiful. It's like you both have decided not to settle in love and relationships and to go after someone who, who matches you, right? Someone who has the same ethics and values and ideas in terms of love and, and where you want to grow this relationship with that page of pentacles. There's new love in order, and it seems like you both are being guided in that direction. And when it comes in, it's going to come in fast. But yeah, getting there, it, it, it's, it's slow moving. It's earth energy, so... But you are the star in their sky, right? Really beautiful. And this is also a card of healing. You both may be going through major changes in healing. You presenting as the hanged man um, is an indicator that, yeah, you are ready to transition out uh, of an old cycle, but you're not quite there yet. Uh, we're waiting to get the death card in, in that capacity. Some of you may have strong Scorpio in your chart. Um, but yeah, it, it's assessing what's around you and recognizing, am I ready for something better? Am I ready for, for the... Um, for like the 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 one and only again the one who who comes in and and wants all the bells and whistles and knows what they want you Libra it seems like you're dating around you're learning what it is that you want in love you had a lot of pages coming up so yeah the student of love do I like this do I like that what don't I want in love what won't I accept like what won't I settle for in love it's really badass energy and you're both coming in like understanding with truth and clarity with justice who it is you want to build your life with, who it is you want to spend the rest of your life with. Guys, this reading is beautiful. Aquarius season, though. This, this is when this is going to start to happen. Uh, even into Pisces season, too. You have a lot of Pisces cards here. All right, please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what resonates for you, Libra, and I will see you very soon for more tarot readings. Bye!